Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing us how to make this dress, but mine is not going to be a shirt dress, but it's going to have the design on the in the front, and it's going to be exactly like this, but not a shirt dress. And mine is going to have a sleeve. So if this is what you're interested to watch, kindly sit back, let's work on this. On my table is a complete six years of African print, but I won't be using all. Out of this six years, I'll just be use, making use of three yards of the material to achieve the short dress you're seeing on my thumbnail. And then the other, this other one, I'll be using it to form the design in the front. That's what I'll be using for the design in the front. So let's forge ahead. This is my working piece for the front part of the dress on the fold of two. I'm going to have to determine it by using my largest measurement, which is my hips. So some people, their waist is, their bust is their largest measurement, so depending on you. So I'm going ahead to draw my borderline. After I'm done drawing my borderline, I'm going to go ahead and take the length of the dress. The length of the dress I'm going to be working on today is 42. That's a short dress, 42. I'm going to be taking 42. And then I'll go ahead and add two inches extra for the hemming allowance. Once I'm done identifying this, then I'll mark it. I'll use my ruler and draw a line at the points that I have already identified. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to take my shoulder measurement on the borderline. My shoulder measurement is 16, and 16 divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. I'll go ahead and mark eight inches on the borderline. Then I will come down by one inch to form my shoulder slope. I'll go ahead and take my neck depth on three inches and then the neck width at four. I'm going to be taking it at four, not at three. So we'll have four by three. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to connect it i'm going to connect the two dots then we will normally connect our neck depth and neck width having done this i'll go ahead and then um, connect my shoulder slope from the one inch i identified earlier i'm going to take it down to my um neck width then on the shoulder area i'm going to come down and take my armhole depth my armhole depth in this tutorial is nine inches i'm going to go ahead and mark nine inches once i'm done with this i'll be going ahead to take my boss points my boss point here on this tutorial is 13 inches and my waistline is um, 18 inches i'll go ahead and mark my waistline then from the waist to the hips is nine inches apart so that's i'll be taking my shoulder i'll be taking my hips measurement at 27 inches that's nine inches added to 18 inches which is my waistline will give me 27 inches i'll go ahead and mark it once i'm done marking that i'll use my ruler and connect all the dots that i have identified i'll do a straight line to show all the dots that i have already identified after that, I'll go ahead and use my ruler and connect my armhole depth, which I have already done, to form to identify to get my chest line. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to find the bit points for my armhole. Okay, once I identify my the midpoint of my armhole depth, I'm going to go in from there by half an inch that's 0 0.5 inch and once i'm done identifying that i will take my curve but before i go ahead and take the curve before i go ahead and draw the curve of my armhole depth i'll be taking my boss circumference my boss circumference on this tutorial is 43 43 divided by 4 weeks will give me 10.75 i'll go ahead and mark 10.75 on my boss 
point and then i'll mark it on the chest line which is my arm hole depth so i'll go ahead and mark it and then use my ruler and connect the dots then i will draw my arm hole curve connecting the dots i have measured the dots on the shoulder the dots on the um half um half scale of my arm hole that i have identified and the dots of the bust circumference which i have drawn to give me a perfect arm hole Then I will go ahead and take the circumference of my waist. The circumference of my waist is 39, and 39 divided by 4 will give me 9.75. I'll go ahead and mark that. I'll go ahead and mark 9.75 on my waist area, and then I'll add 1 inch is, and then I'll add 2 inch sewing allowance. Then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead on my waist, on my hip line. I'm going to take my hip circumference. My hip circumference is 45. And 45 divided by 4 will give me 11.25. I'll go ahead and mark that and then add 2 inch, 2 inch for sewing allowance. Then I will use my French curve and connect all the dots. And once I get to the hip area, I'm going to just draw it straight down the way you're going to see me do right now. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to head over and cut out my dress the way I have already marked it out. Alright, here is our cutout. So what I will I be doing next? I will just take it and place it on the one on um, the working piece of the back one. The difference is just going to be the one inch for zip allowance, which I'm going to make a uh, um, provision for. You can see the way I placed it. I placed it away from um one inch away from the main material. You can see it. I've already used my pin to hold it down. And you can see the one inch I've given allowance for the zip. So what will I be doing? I'll just go ahead and trace it out. On tracing it out on the neck area, I'm just going to take one and a half inch depth for the neck depth of the back. And then I will trace every other thing out the way you're going to see me do right now. Just watch me as I cut out the back piece. All right, I am done cutting out the back piece. With what I have cut out now, and I'll just use it and cut out the lining. I'll just use all that I have cut out, both the back working piece and the front working piece. I'm going to place it on the lining and cut out and trace it out with the lining. But the difference is going to be that the lining is going to be shorter by two inches because I'm going to be using the clothes. I'm going to be using the lining to turn the clothes. So just watch me as I do that. I'm going to cut out the lining right now. I'm done cutting out the lining. You can see what I have already. And look at what I'm explaining to you. That this that the cloth is going to be longer, longer than the lining by two inches, which I have already done. You can see it. It is longer than that. So what will I be doing right now? I'll be going ahead to my machine to turn it. So that is the front piece that I've just shown you. And this one is the back piece as well. That is the back piece and you can see the difference with the lining. So we're going to go ahead. That This is my sleeve. My sleeve already, I have already cut out. The length of my sleeve is 11 inches and then by 7 inches. So that is what I have there. You know how to cut basic um, sleeve already. It's just a basic sleeve. That is what it is. I've already cut out the lining as well. So this is the pocket I'll be using. The pocket on a fold of two, the width is six inches, while the length is 13 inches. So that is what I'll be. That this is all the working piece that I'll be using to make this dress. So we'll be going over to join them. And again, this is the what I'll be using for the design. I have two different cutouts. The length is um, 42 each. So I'm going to be joining the two. And then the width is 3 inches. 
the width of the working piece for the design is three inches so that by the time i hem it with half an inch um at the down part and then i use half an inch to join it to the glute i will still have like, like two inch if you want your own longer you can make it like three you can make it like four five inches depending on you so i'm going to head over and join it so that i'll make it a single um a single piece then i'll fold it and then i'll bring it and then show us how we are going to be joining it to the dress all right this is the front piece of the dress where i'll be going ahead to attach the design we are going ahead to fix the design so we'll go ahead and take i'm going to be making a small little drawing on the front piece so as to serve as a guide that is the drawing i'm going to be making now is where i'll be placing where i'll be placing the ruffles that's where i'll be doing the pleats it's going to serve as from the armhole area i'm going to come in by one and a half inch on both sides once i come in by one and a half inch i'm going to draw that to the boss point i'm going to make like a u curve to the boss point so just watch me as i through the boss point because i want it to come down to the boss point and then go up again so that is what you're going to see me do it is good you do this so that it will guide you because most times when you try to do it on your own you find out that it might not be at the center or it might not come out really well the way you want it to be. But when you draw this line, the line will be a guide. That is where you are going to sew or that is where you're going to be pinning, pinning down the, the ruffles that you're going to be making. This is a sort of a guide. You need to do it. Except you are a serious professional. That is where you will not need it. Even professionals, they do this. It is a guide and it will help you to so that your flaunts your ruffles will come out very very well so once i'm done drawing that i'm going to go ahead and start pinning uh, making a pleat of the the materials that i'll be using as you can see me do now please watch closely and see the way i placed it the material I'm using, right side facing right side, then I am pinning it in. I am pinning it in because once I finish, I'm going to push it out. So just watch the way I am pinning it right now. That's the way you're going to go ahead and do your own. Um, remember, I am mindful of the lines that I, I had already drawn initially. That is a guide and that is exactly where I am pinning this on. So watch me as I do this. Okay, I'm going to walk it all through to the other shoulder and you can see that is what I'm already doing. And it will not be a big deal after um, attaching the ruffles that you have an excess material. It is not a big deal. What you just do is once you're satisfied with what you have done, you just go ahead and cut out the excess material that you have. So I'll be heading over to the machine and then sew it down the way you're going to see me do. Once I finish sewing it down, I'm going to push it that way. I'm going to push it down. Once I finish sewing it the way I am sh showing you right now, I'm going to sew it that way. Then I'll push it down and then top stitch on it. The purpose of the top stitching is to make the, our ruffles to relax, to relax very well. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to bring it over so that we we'll all see our handwork together. Okay, here we go. Look at our ruffles. It's already looking very beautiful. I've already gone ahead to attach it and it's looking nice. Look at how good it is looking. If you want your own fuller, if you want it two step, if you want it three step, it's all up to you. So I've gone ahead to do that. Once I am done with this now, I'm going to go ahead and start using my lining to turn all the materials the way you're going to see me do right now. So the first thing I'll be doing on the machine when I get to the machine is to attach my lining by half inch on the neck area once I'm done that I'll do um, a top stitch pushing the the stitches to the lining area then I'll go ahead and then stitch the down part of the dress before I will now go ahead and join the sides this is what I'll be doing for the back and the front Piece. this is what i'll be doing on the back in one two i'll be going ahead to join the
the neck first. It is the neck first, then the down part secondly, and then the sides thirdly. That is what I'll be going ahead to do right now. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to bring it so that we we'll all see it. And remember that once I join the neck, I will top stitch on the neck, pushing the stitches to the lining area. Okay, here I'm done joining the lining to the material. So look at what I have done, gone ahead to do. You can see the down part of it. You can see the top part of it as well. I'm going to go ahead and flip it, flip it over to turn it inside out. Just the way you see me do right now. So once I'm done turning it inside out, I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and use my iron to iron it very well so that it will relax more. So once I'm done doing this, I'll bring it. I'm done ironing. And this is what we'll have. So I'm going to be going ahead to lay the back to the front, shoulder to shoulder. Then we'll go ahead and join it on the shoulder area. So this is what we'll have. Look at the down part. Look at the, the front. Look at how neatly it is. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the back on the front area the way you're seeing me do right now. So once I'm done laying it, before I go ahead to join the shoulders, I'm going to go ahead and attach the zipper first before I'll go ahead and attach the shoulder, join the two shoulders together. So that is what I'll be showing you right now. And once I'm done attaching the zipper, this is the way I'm going to be attaching, as in fixing the two shoulders together. I'm going to join it together and just use one piece of the lining or one piece of the material and turn it. Look at the way you are seeing me do it. That is the way. Once once you turn your line, once you join your shoulders like this, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be looking very beautiful, neat inside out. So look at what I'm doing. Look at the way I joined the two shoulders together. Then I use the lining to turn it round to hold it. And then I'll join it by half an inch. That is the way I'll be doing it. So once I'm done, I'm going to bring it and show us what we have achieved. <laughs> okay, here we have it. I've already gone ahead. I've already joined the shoulder and then the lining together. You can see how beautiful. Look at the handwork. Look at how beautiful the shoulder is looking. Look at how neat it is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it right side, facing right side. And then I'm going to be joining it by the side. So we're going to be joining it by the side by one and a half inch because I use half inch to join the lining to the material. You remember we give two inches for the sewing allowance. So I'll be going ahead to join the sides by one and a half inch. Okay, before I go ahead to join it by one and a half inch, I'll make sure that I confirm that the measurement is still in place. The measurement for everything we took is still in place. So that is what I just actually confirmed right now. And it's okay. We'll be going ahead to join it by one and a half inch. That's the measurement we'll be using to join it. But meanwhile, to do this, I'm going to be I, I am identifying the place that we're going to be fixing our pockets because the gun is going to be having a pocket and the pocket starts somewhere around the waist so that's what i'm doing around the waist and then it's going to be seven inches open to accommodate the hand of the adult to accommodate the hand of the client so from the waist area i'm going to be drawing um marking it with the chalk then i will now go down i will make an opening of seven inches which is where the opening will be then what will I do when I get to my machine? I'll just stitch it down to the waist area. Once I got to the waist area, I'm going to stop. Once I stop there, I'll continue from the place where the where I identified the other seven the seven inches and then take it down so that that particular place for the pocket will be open. That's the that's the motive. That's the basics for this. So that that particular place for the pocket will be open so once i'm done doing this i'm going to bring it back so that we'll all see what we have done all right here it is i've already joined it 
the both sides i've already gone ahead to join the both sides you can see everything has already been joined but look at the place i opened for the pocket you can see it that is already is open for the pocket so what will i be doing next we'll be going ahead to attach the pocket we'll be going ahead to attach our pocket so that is what and this is just watch me the way i'm going to be attaching the pocket make sure that the right side is inside the right side is facing inside the right side is facing down and then the wrong side this is the wrong side that you are seeing right now so the right side is under the wrong side is up so i'll go ahead and just use my safety pin to hold it down the way i'm going to be stitching it on the machine once i am done stitching it um holding it down the way you're seeing me do right now i'm going to head over to my machine and then i will join it so once I am done with this now, I'm, look at the way I'm going to be turning it. I'm going to turn it this way so that the stitches will be inside when I am done joining. The stitches for the pocket will be inside. That's why I should. I'm going to do it that way and then join it so that the stitches will be inside. So once I'm done doing this, I'm going to bring it so that we all see it. And then this is the arm, the sleeve as well. I'm going to be going ahead to join the sleeve as well. I make sure that the the joining for the sleeve and the joining for the armhole aligns together. So I'm going to pin it down. I'll make sure it aligns. Once it aligns, I'm going to pin it down and I will head over to the machine as well and join it by half an inch. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to be bringing it out for us to see. I'm going to be doing it on the boot sleeve and almost our clothes is ready. So once I'm done joining this now, we are going to see what we have done together. All right, I'm done doing that. Look at the sleeve has already been fixed and it's looking very perfect and okay. Look at how beautiful it is. Alright, you can see the finished handwork of our product, what we have done together. Thank you guys for sitting through. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. We have all done this together. Look at the finishes. Look at the down part. Look at the sides. Look at the this zip. Look at our, our ruffles. Look at the shoulder, look at the sleeve. Everything is just perfect and okay. Thank you guys for sitting through and thank you for watching. Here is our dress on the mannequin. Is it not looking so beautiful? And I know that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Kindly give me a thumbs up and also share this video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our page and also put on your notification bell to always get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are wonderful. See you in my next. Bye.